Hey everybody, so good to see you. I'm Pastor D from St. John Lutheran Church and it's a great day to learn about Jesus today. I'm so glad that you could join me. Today's theme uh, for March 7th of 2021 is Beneath the Olive Trees. And the olive trees that I'm going to talk about um, today in our story um, actually are located in a place called the Garden of of Gethsemane, which is in Jerusalem. And we'll insert a picture here in, actually a couple of pictures here in the video so you can see what that looks like. Um, so I'll be back in just a second. So those pictures were actually taken by myself when I was in Jerusalem at the Garden of Gethsemane. And um, it's been cared for by um, the same family for several generations. Um, and anyway, that's where our Bible story takes place. You see, um, I wanted to show you, this is a rock, right? It's a really nice sized rock and it's kind of flat, right? Kind of flat. Um, and rocks are like serious strong things, right? And even if I wanted to like squish this and, and change it to make it flatter, there's no way I could bend it. Can't happen because rocks are just too strong. No matter what I do, I cannot change this rock on my own. If I had to change it, I would need tools to help me to do that, to crush it or smash it or something to run over it to make it break into little pieces and grind it up. But on my own, just can't do it. Did you know that Jesus is like a rock? And on Thursday night of Holy Week, which is coming up at the end of March, right before Easter Sunday, um, on Thursday night of Holy Week, Jesus knew what was about to happen. He knew that people were coming to arrest him and take him to be crucified on the cross. And you can learn about that in two different passages of the, of the Bible. One is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 14. Verses 32 to 46, which is a very long reading, but very good stuff in there to learn about. But it's long, so I'm not going to spend some time in our video on that. But you can look that up in your Bible, Mark 14, 32 to 46. Or you can also learn about it in John, the Gospel of John, chapter 18, verses 1 through 10. So depending on which kit bag you got, you will get work papers, um, lesson papers, sorry, lesson papers from either Mark or John. So be sure to check those out. Anyway, the story takes place in the Garden of Gethsemane. And the pictures that you saw were actually of olive trees. Um, one for sure has been around since before the time Jesus would have been crucified. It's very old. It's over 3,000 years old, the olive tree is. So in that Garden of Gethsemane, Gethsemane, there's a very good chance that it was there when all of this that you learn about in the Bible took place. So Jesus knew that people were going to arrest him and take him to be crucified on the cross. That's why Jesus came into the world to us. But even Jesus was, scared, was sad and he was scared. He didn't want to have to suffer and die. Like nobody wants that, right? Um, so he goes to a quiet place in the garden under some olive trees to pray. And he tells God how scared and sad that he is, and he asks if things could be different. But Jesus is willing to do whatever it is that God asks of him. And Jesus prays, thy will be done, meaning God's will be done for the good of all. And you see, then Jesus became like a rock. He became like a rock. He, he became that strong, even stronger. And nothing will be able to budge him from doing what, G, what his father, God, his will is for the world, even all the way to Jesus' death. And Jesus was strong for the hard thing that God had asked him to do. And Jesus will help you be strong for the hard things in your life too, just like he's strong for your moms and dads and aunts and uncles and cousins and grandmas and grandpas and your teachers and your pastors and everybody. Jesus is strong and can help you be strong for the hard things in your life. And when do you need help to be strong? Maybe it's hard when you have to do chores or homework without complaining. Or maybe someone you love has recently died and you need somebody to help you along with that. 
and sometimes hard things take us by surprise, like falling and getting hurt. You see, you have help with any hard thing in your life because Jesus, Jesus is your rock. And nothing can budge his love for you. Nothing ever, ever takes his love away from you, no matter what. And if you're feeling scared or sad or um, nervous or concerned, you can pray just like Jesus did under the olive trees. Now, you might not have an olive tree, but you can pray. You can pray wherever. And you can find a quiet place to pray, too. He will give you the strength that you need. So I invite you again to look up in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 14, verses 32 to 46, or John, chapter 18, verses 1 through 10, or both, and compare the two, because it's really neat to see the differences. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help me, help us to pray thy will be done just like you did. Thank you for your unfailing love for me and for us and for all of the people in the world, no matter what. You are our rock and our salvation. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me for our worship service today. I invite you to check out your kit bags with your Sunday school stuff with your crafts in there. We have some things about rocks. I have a couple more here like this. Um, so you might want to find a few rocks for your craft uh, somewhere around your house. Maybe go out scouting some, see what you can find, or go to a park or someplace really neat that you like to go and get outside and enjoy nature. Um, anyway, I hope you have a really terrific day, and I wish you all the best. God bless you. Have a great day. Take care. Bye now.